welcome back. So on this channel, I have reviewed all types of electric toothbrushes. On this channel, we've talked about Quip, Bruch, Gobi, and today we're gonna to be talking about the new kid on the block, which is Hum by Colgate. So if you wanna hear my thoughts, especially as someone who has used a lot of these trendy electric toothbrushes, then just keep watching. <laughs> So first I just wanna say I do have an affiliate link with Colgate, which I will put down in the description box. And I will also do my best to find whatever kind of coupon codes or discounts I can find for you guys. And I'll put all of that down in the description box. I am super grateful when you do use my links, it supports me and then Normally it also helps you get a bit of a discount as well. So it is a win-win to use those links down in the description box. However, I did pay for this myself. This was not a sponsored video or anything like that. So yeah. Anyway, let's dive in to what this brush is all about. So basically Colgate is selling this toothbrush in two different formats. There is a battery powered version, which I have, which is about $50. And then they have a rechargeable version, which is $70. To be honest, I don't really see why you would want the rechargeable one since for me, I feel like the battery powered one is so much sleeker and there's no cords or recharging necessary and it's cheaper. So I don't know, I went with the battery powered one, but if you want the rechargeable one, that option is also available to you. In addition to the choice of whether you want it battery powered or rechargeable, you have another choice of whether you want to opt into the subscription service or not. So you can either buy this brush as it is as a standalone brush, or you can opt into the subscription service. Basically they will send you a replacement brush head every three months and that costs just about $5. It's $4.99 every three months. The one downside I would say with the subscription is I kind of wish they had more add-ons like toothpaste and floss and stuff like that. Other services, for example, Quip, have that available. And obviously this is Hum by Colgate. So clearly they have toothpaste available. So yeah, I was kind of surprised that they didn't include any of their other products in the subscription. Maybe that will come in the future, but it is just a bit of a downside that you can't just get everything all together in one subscription at this point. Now let's talk about the actual brush. So this is what the brush looks like. It has two different setting options. It has one that's a bit more powerful and then it has like a gentle setting. The brush head looks like this and then the back has this like tongue cleaner thing. One downside is the brush head is a little bit smaller than other brushes that I've tried. And I don't love that. I don't like that the brush head is so small, but I don't know, it gets the job done. No major complaints about the actual brush. It feels nice. It's 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 slightly like cheaper plastic feeling than I was expecting, but now that I'm used to it, I feel like it's totally adequate. I feel like the bristles are gentle enough. They're not like irritating my gums or anything like that also. So I like that they have the two different settings. So yeah, no major complaints about the actual brushing experience. Okay, so now let's talk about the big selling point of this brush, which is the app and the Bluetooth connectivity. So basically this app can hook up to an app, both on iPhone and Android, which kind of tracks a whole bunch of different fun things related to your toothbrushing experience. So basically the app measures three main things. It looks at frequency of brushing, duration, as well as coverage. And so the frequency is obviously how often you're brushing, the duration is how long, and then the coverage tool I feel like is probably the coolest thing about this app. Basically it will show you a like virtual map of your mouth and it will show you what areas that you are covering as well as what areas you might be missing. I think this part of the app is super cool. Also they have a feature called like guided brushing where you can, it'll kind of walk you through the different parts of your mouth and you can like brush along with it. Obviously I feel like for most people it's probably not necessary to do this that often, but I think doing it once or twice is actually pretty good and it kind of like resets your brain in terms of like how long you should be brushing each part of your mouth. And it kind of just makes sure that you aren't missing major parts of your mouth when you are brushing your teeth. So yeah, the guided brushing tool is very cool. So let's talk about my experience with the app. I will say the hookup process, it was extremely easy to actually connect my toothbrush to the app. Absolutely no complaints there. Also the accuracy, as far as I can tell, is pretty, pretty good with this app. It's definitely accurate when it comes to the frequency and duration of the brushing. I will say, I think the coverage map is, is pretty accurate, but it's not 100% accurate. I wouldn't 
count on it like completely. So I did a few tests and the test where I covered like my whole mouth, I would say, I think it's pretty accurate. However, if you're only doing like a little piece of your mouth or something, it's not going to be as accurate. Like for example, I did a test where I just brushed like the front of my teeth and I didn't brush the backs at all. And it had the area that I was brushing completely wrong. It thought I was like brushing my back molars. I think it's more accurate when you are brushing your entire mouth, which is what you should be doing anyway. So no major complaints there, but just know that it's not perfect. It's not like a camera that's looking in your mouth and knows exactly what, where you're brushing. It's taking its best guess based on like the shape of your mouth and how you move the brush around. So yeah. Okay. And let's talk about the final aspect of the app, which is their rewards system. So basically how it works is you get points every time you brush, as long as your brushing is above, I think 30 seconds and it has at least 50%, I believe, coverage of your mouth. And you can earn up to three points per day. And then basically those points can be redeemed for like gift cards, basically for the hum store. So you can use them to redeem it for additional toothbrushes or additional brush heads. And the points, the value is 100 points equals a dollar. So if you're earning three points a day, it's gonna take you a like over a month probably to earn one dollar's worth of benefits from it so you know it's not a money making scheme that's for sure but it's definitely some motivation and if you brush consistently throughout the whole year then you could probably get every other brush head paid for because over the course of the year the brush heads are going to be twenty dollars so if you earn about a thousand points or so over the course of the year then you can get every other brush head paid for when you think about it in terms of you can get half of your brush heads for free if you brush very consistently it's not bad the only other thing that i would say is a negative though of the reward system is i wish they had other rewards that you could redeem it for other than just brush heads and additional toothbrushes because let's be real if you already have one of these toothbrushes like what's the chances that you're going to want to redeem points for another toothbrush to replace this one thing that i noticed about quips rewards program that they just announced is they have a lot more like special things that you can redeem it for like exclusive uh tote bags and stuff like that so i think it'd be cool if hum also introduced some more special features and stuff like that into the reward system so overall my verdict is i'm actually really impressed with this and i think especially what i'm impressed with is the app experience i think it's it's a great way to motivate yourself to brush your teeth more often i think it syncs pretty well. The whole thing is very seamless. I think if you're in the market for a new toothbrush, I think you can't really go wrong with this. It's not the most high end brush I've ever seen, but it gets the job done and it is pretty cool when you can't sing with app. So yeah, that's my thoughts. I would love to know your thoughts if you've tried this brush or if you're thinking about buying it. Do you think you're going to go ahead and make a purchase or are you going to skip on this one? I would love to know. And anyway, that's it. Bye guys.